Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. On today's episode, let's look at recording your iOS screen using your Mac. So to record your iPhone or iPad, first thing you need to do is plug it in using the lightning connector. So it's plugged in and you've got your device connected to your Mac. Now you want to run the QuickTime Player on your Mac. If it's not in your dock, you can find it in your Applications folder. So QuickTime Player allows you, of course, to play videos, but also allows you to record them. If you go under File, you can see three different recording type of functions. One is to record a new movie, another is an audio only recording, and another is a screen recording. Screen recording is actually for recording the screen of your Mac. For recording the screen of your iPhone or iPad plugged in, you want to select New Movie Recording. Now it's going to come up and it's going to show what's on your webcam. So uh, on your iSight camera, on your uh, MacBook for instance, or iMac. But you can change that. You can click this little button right here and you can select which camera to choose. And you can also you can select a microphone. So you can select the microphone connected to your Mac and then the video from your iPad. So let's select the iPad here and you'll see that it's going to come up and show my iPad screen here. And this is my live iPad screen. Around, I can go into apps uh, and do whatever I want to do inside of here, and it will bring up and show me what's going on. So now in this interface, you can actually see what's going on on your iPad. So I can go back to the home screen here, move around, and uh, you can use this to take screenshots actually. Because if you move your cursor over. Uh, out from over this, you can see the controls go away, and I can do something like Command Shift 4 and take a screenshot, and it will show up. You see, I've already got one here, and you can get a little graphics file. So, you have that ability, uh, even though it's easy to take screenshots on the iPad using just the, uh, the sleep button and the home button at the same time. Uh, but if you want to actually record the video, you want to click here, and it starts recording. And then it's going to record my voice here on the microphone and also what I do on the screen. And I can hit stop and then it will open up this movie. So now I'm in the regular QuickTime Player playback and I can scroll through this and see what I've recorded. Now if I want to save this then I just use regular save function to save this out as a movie. Since you're in the QuickTime Player you can also use the interface here to trim uh, this is available in any movie that you've opened up in the QuickTime Player. So I can trim things out as I play back. Hit the Trim button there. Um, I can also export in other formats if I want. There's a few options here. And you can directly go to Share to be able to share this uh, with somebody. So if it's not a video you're making but maybe you want to show uh, a developer a problem with their app or something like that, you can very quickly capture using this method and then send it via email to them. Now the main reason that this functionality is even here is because Apple wants developers to submit video previews of their apps in the App Store. So this is built in here to make it easy for app developers to record uh, their app being used and then play it back uh, and edit it in iMovie and Final Cut, whatever they want, and then upload that as a preview. So you're going to start seeing a lot of video previews for apps in the App Store.